All right, y'all, welcome back. PR here again. You know, a couple things real quick. I go back, I'll go down the lake and get on some brush again, some deeper brush. This actually is one brush pile. As soon as I got there, I went flying down there to this one brush pile because I know it's kind of it's about the size of your boat. And it sits 14, 13, top to 16, 17 foot of water. Uh, Real quick description, like this is your brush pile here, okay? And then this is the shoreline over here. The wind was pumping this way. I put the buoy marker on the back end. Usually I like to put the buoy in the front of the brush. That's what I should have did, but I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I got the marker here, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I got the boat, when I set the boat up here, and the first of this, I'll set the boat right here. And I kind of pitched the jig up over it and come down across it on the shallower side, because remember the shoreline's over here. That's where I caught them bigger fish. I, I slid out to the deeper side, caught some fish as well, some good fish, but some small ones, okay? And then I could get up right behind this buoy and know the brush was right in front of me. Oh, I never went over it, never really crossed it. Uh, didn't put my shadow on it. Of course, it was cloudy, it was raining, it was in and out. So, <clears throat> but I, I stayed behind it the whole time. Never really got on a brush pile. Once you mark a brush pile, you throw your marker out. That's what I did, throw the marker out after I went over top of it. Sit the trolling motor down, and I just kind of went across it real quick to, to get the bearings exactly how I know that brush pile was sitting. And that's what I did. You'll see me begin with, I'm on the shallow side of it, the 13, 14 foot. I really catch some fish, and you'll see. Okay, also want the, the, uh, the thing is, I told you Charles had a new jig, and he does. We call it sea glass. This is one of them here. And again, man, you can't really see how a, a, a shiny bluish green this pearl has. Let me show you all of them. There's all of them together. And again, you can't, you have to see them and, and, and really, that's your monkey milk, that's your real pearl with some silver then this is your sea glass here, okay? The monkey milk, the pearl, and, and in the camera, man, it looks, they look so similar, but they really don't. They really got a kind of a glaze to them, or a haze is what I like to call them. Uh, here's the packs. That's your monkey milk. That's your regular pearl. That's your sea glass. See a little bit of difference there. The monkey milk really got a, haze in it, but this has got more of a greener bluish, or this is more blue. They's eating that sea glass. They really, they're really eating that sea glass. Custom made jigs. Right on. Text chaw, y'all. Let's get into this show pictures. Oh, man. I got Mr. Robert He's on the back end. I also, uh, let's see. Man, I forget these folks. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry, y'all. I know Chris Shepard's in here. I know Mr. Robert Hudson from Virginia's in here. He's the last. Uh, Mike's in the front. Oh, how can I forget? Buddy I talk to all the time. He guides up on Hickory. Um, Hickory and Rodos, I think it's the name of that. I can't remember. It's from the Mountain Lakes. Check him out. Uh, Bobby Green, Bobby Green, guides up there, y'all. He's killing the fish, killing them, or at least he was. Uh, oh, the shellcrackers, the stripers, the catfish. I got a big old catfish and a striper here from Bobby. And then again, Mr. Chris Shepard and uh, Mr. Robert Hudson. Thank y'all, fellas. Oh, welcome back, PR here. You know, I'm back down the lake. It's 
we've got some rain, pretty hard rain at times. So I come back down to the lake with some stable water, okay? And it's, the water looks pretty good. I got old school with me. Let's see if we can find some fish. First little brush pile. It's about 14 foot. Pretty little fish. Gotta introduce a new color, jaw stuff. It's got like a green, light, slight green mirror tint to it. Silver sparkle. Nice little fish. Let like this guy. We call it sea glass in the split tail. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's cloudy. I'm in between storms, so. Um, man, we've just had a bunch of rain, not continuously, but in spurts. And then when it rains, it just pours down a bunch of flash flooding and stuff. So I decided to come down the lake, see if it's a little bit more stable down here, as far as water clarity, you know, just in general on the lake. Hold on. Look at that. All right. Look at that. Sea glass, sea glass, baby. Pretty fish. <laughs> you gotta love coming down old brush pile. You ain't hitting a while. Gonna be some fish on it. Mm. Let's watch the let this one go. Pretty fish right there. Man, good school of fish. Good school of fish. Well, brush pile fish. They on a good old brush pile. All right, so you see my marker right up there. Right there. Shallow part of that brush is by the 12, 13 foot, and it drops off 16, 17 foot. So, so we find another one. And they about 10, 12 foot. Another good fish.
some of these are getting to be bucket fish. It's got just, you can't really see it, but it's a little green hue, light teal color hue in there. Just looks just like sea glass. Good fish. We'll let him go. All right, so I had to take a minute to, uh, I got hung up in the brush. I had to take a minute to retie. So let you see these jigs. You still can't really see a good hue to them like I can. I have to wait till I get into some sunlight. But this thing, I'm calling um, sea glass. Sea glass. All right, so. See the marker coming away. Yeah, you can barely see it right there. Right about a well to boat. So, fishing the deeper side now, okay? It's misting a little. small dude. He's getting there though. It won't be long for that.
Yes, sir. Man, you gotta love a good old deep brush pile. Oh, the little devil got away from me. Heard a fish. He's about bucket size there. He ain't far from it now. He kind of small. I'll go over to brush pile in a minute here with the grass so y'all can check it out. Oh, you're getting misty, ain't you? Loving that jig, y'all. Custom magic jigs. Put another for the little guy. slack on that one. Golly. I tell you, boy, them, them fish are on there. His mouth is a little toy. Them fish staying on that one. Close to a bucket fish too. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, it's fixed misting. You see? So, I apologize for any smears or anything. The wind's blowing a little bit too, so probably have a little wind to deal with. We well, have Garcia set up five pound test, Sunline, 16th ounce. And a uh, little split tail, custom matic jigs, color sea glass. This fish is. Look how thick he is. Golly, boy, that's a thick chunk of hair. I mean, you gotta love him. Gotta love him. I'm telling you. Especially with a good old brush pile like that.
a little guy. He had it engulfed. Pretty few. Let that one go. So I had him hooked underneath the lip. Heard the fish and let him go. All right, y'all, starting to rain and mist, whatever, pretty hard now. I'm going to put the coat on. I might just go and call in. I sure enjoyed it. Hope y'all did. That one brush pile was just loaded with fish, loaded with fish. I was going to show y'all that on the death finder too, and I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll get it next time for you. Man, what'd y'all think, man? I, 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 this is just one brush pile. I went to another one, didn't do nothing. Started misting and raining real hard on me, so I went to the boat ramp. Got to the boat ramp, wasn't doing nothing. I was like, man, I know some more brush right here. Next show, after I got to the boat ramp, decided to stay just a little bit longer. It's going to be a good one, too. Crash.